in this lesson we're going to be going over relationships between triangles and circles part one and I need you to pay very close attention because a question on the part two test will ask you about the relationship between triangles and circles so you really need to pay attention and learn in this lesson one of the objectives is to define and identify their uh, the points of intersection associated with triangles and use a compass and a straight edge or technology to construct points of intersection in triangles in circumscribed and inscribed circles of triangles. Now a lot of the problem set has you going through and doing constructions so you need to uh, be looking at the list of web links that I have in doc sharing and there is some videos in there that will teach you how to do the constructions and also there's lessons about how to do constructions in the LMS lesson itself okay some new terms now pay attention to how you say this circumscribed it's encircling and touching each vertex of another figure a circle is circumscribed about a triangle if each vertex of the triangle lies on the circle and you're going to get to see a good example of that and then there's the end center the center of a circle that can be inscribed within a figure and then there's the inscribed circle a circle inside a figure and touching exactly one point on each side of the figure okay so we're going to start off with the points of intersections and triangles now when you draw the perpendicular bisector on each side of a triangle the bisectors will meet at a point called the circumcenter the circumcenter may lie inside on or outside the triangle in this particular figure it's lying on the inside it just depends on the type of triangle and we'll talk about that in just a moment so this blue dot right here is the circumcenter and if you'll notice there's a line that's perpendicular to a side and where those lines meet is going to be your circumcenter what I do want you to notice is that the circumcenter of a triangle is equidistance from the vertices of the triangle okay so it's the same distance from the circumcenter to this vertice or vertex same distance from the circumcenter to this vertex same distance from the circumcenter to this vertex okay so here's the picture again there's the circumcenter it's a bunch of perpendicular bisectors now here's the 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 catch if the triangle is a uh, I'll say it again if the triangle is acute like this one right here the circumcenter will always be inside so if it's acute it's inside if the triangle is a right triangle like this one right here the circumcenter lies on the triangle see where your circumcenter is if it's a right triangle the circumcenter is on the triangle and then down here you've got an obtuse triangle and with an obtuse triangle your circumcenter will always lie outside the triangle now notice we've talked about the tick mark tick marks meaning that they're congruent well we can always uh, use um, multiple arcs to indicate indicate congruent angles okay so that's what these red lines right here mean they're all different sizes so what we've done here is constructed angle bisectors for each angle okay so this angle right here each side of the line is congruent this angle right here each side of the line is congruent and same with this third angle okay now where your angle bisectors uh, intersect will be called your end center and your end center is going to be equal distance from each side of the triangle
Okay, now here's all the information that's going to be real important for that test question. Circumscribed and inscribed circles. We say that a circle is circumscribed about a triangle if each vertex of the triangle lies on the circle. So what that means, if it's circumscribed, see how this circle goes around the triangle and it touches at each vertex. And right here's the circumcenter. Okay? And here's a little memory tip down here. Circumscribed is around, inscribed is inside. A circumscribed has a circumcenter, inscribed has an in center. Okay? This is all important information for your test. So the circumcenter of a triangle is the center of a center. The in center is the center of its inscribed circle. So look here, when it's inscribed, you see this green circle. Notice how it touches each side of the triangle. That's what makes it inscribed. Okay, there's not a lot of examples here because most of the problems in the problem set are actually constructing triangles, which you're going to have to watch the videos and do on your own because I can't do constructions in Blackboard. So, in triangle FGH, which type of segment is FJ? So you look here, there's nothing that indicates that it's perpendicular, okay? We do see that each of these sides are congruent, so we know that it's bisecting or cutting it down the middle into two equal parts. Now, if there was a square here that said, hey, this is perpendicular, then we would call it a perpendicular bisector, but there's not one. It doesn't say anything about the angles being congruent up here, so we can't say that it's an angle bisector. So we're probably going to be pretty well off calling it a median in this example. Okay, and remember that your, um, you're going to have web links that are posted in doc sharing that are definitely going to help you with the constructions. And then to summarize what we've talked about today, to find the end center of a triangle, bisect all three angles and determine where they intersect. And to find the circumcenter of a triangle, construct the perpendicular bisector of each side and determine where they intersect. And remember a circle is inscribed in a triangle if it is inside the triangle and touches one point on all three sides. And a circle is circumscribed about a triangle if it is around the triangle and contains all three vertices. Lessons 1.11 and 1.12 is a question on the Unit 1 Part 2 test. Study them well. And at this point, you should be finished viewing this video and working through the LMS Lesson 1.11 reading pages 19 through 22 in the reference guide, and then work in these problems in the problem set. And please contact me or attend TOGA if you have any questions before completing the 111 quiz, and make note of any general questions you may have for when you attend CC on Thursday. And that's the end.